Good day and peace be with you. Today's Thursday, the 10th of February, 2022. Let us pray. Dear Lord, each and every morning as I begin to wake, I pray that the first thought of each new day would be of you and of your unfailing love for me. I pray that you would give me wisdom for every single situation I'll be facing today. Show me what I should do and where I should go. I trust my life to you. Amen. Our reading for today is taken from Joshua 5 verses 1 to 9. And the theme for reflection is, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Beloved in Christ, let us listen to the word of the Lord. Now, when all the Amorite kings west of the Jordan and all the Canaanite kings along the coast heard how the Lord had dried up the Jordan before the Israelites until they had crossed over, their hearts melted in fear and they no longer had the courage to face the Israelites. At that time, the Lord said to Joshua, Make flint knives and circumcise the Israelites again. So Joshua made flint knives and circumcised the Israelites at Gibbeth Haraloth. Now, this is why he did so. All those who came out of Egypt, all the men of military age, died in the wilderness on the way after leaving Egypt. All the people that came out had been circumcised. But all the people born in the wilderness during the journey from Egypt had not. The Israelites had moved about in the wilderness 40 years until all the men who were of military age when they left Egypt had died, since they had not obeyed the Lord. For the Lord had sworn to them that they would not see the land he had solemnly promised their ancestors to give us, a land flowing with milk and honey. So he raised up their sons in their place, and these were the ones Joshua circumcised. They were still uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. And after the whole nation had been circumcised, they remained where they were in camp until they were healed. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilgal to this day. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. Please share the good news with others and draw others to the kingdom of Christ. Have a blessed day. Amen.